Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Still watching uh, Hurricane Larry well out into the Atlantic. Uh, it's getting better organized slowly but surely. Now, it, it struggled a little bit here and there. Uh, Hurricane Center discussing about the, the eye wall structure in the, the closed center of circulation. And it does look like it has purely closed everything off just right. So that is probably one of the reasons we haven't really seen a rapid intensification to this system. But it does look like conditions will remain favorable that we're going to see more intensification with this as we go through the coming days. So right now, winds are at 90 miles an hour. It's moving towards the west-northwest at 16 miles an hour. Watch this forecast track as we go through the next few days. We continue to see this intensify. Category 3, Category 4, so we are talking about a major hurricane. Now, you look at that track, and you, you notice towards the end of that track, you're seeing Bermuda out there. But it's also, it's starting that turn more towards that northwesterly direction. So we just want to continue to see that turn. And, and people in Bermuda, they will be watching this very closely because the forecast is for it to continue that turn and steer to the east of Bermuda. Look at the various computer models. And of course, you're always going to get some spread in these computer models uh, as you go out in time. But that general consensus of it steering to the east of Bermuda as we head into this latter part of next week. So we're just going to continue to watch to make sure that still continues to be the case. Now, another area that we are watching is in the southern or southwestern Caribbean, a very disorganized area of showers and storms right now. But this is going to continue to work its way on towards the west, over the Yucatan, over Central America, parts of Mexico, and then as it works its way up into the Gulf of Mexico, it looks like it's still going to be very disorganized. And so over the weekend, not expecting anything to happen with this. Really why we're talking about it is because we're starting to see some models like the GFS and the European kind of saying this might hang out for several days. And eventually, we all know this, if you get something that hangs out in the Gulf of Mexico long enough, it can start to be a problem. So here it is on the GFS and you're really not seeing anything. It remains very disorganized as we go through Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. You're starting to see maybe a little hint of an area of lower pressure across the western Gulf of Mexico. Notice it working its way up towards Louisiana, and then it just kind of bounces around. So we're seeing kind of a couple of different ideas here. You see the GFS, what it does is it brings this very weak area up to the north and then just kind of rides it back towards the east a little bit. Now we look at the European and it kind of has that same idea but it takes it right up into say eastern Texas. So not saying any of this is going to happen but it's one of those ideas that if you get something that hangs out long enough in the Gulf of Mexico it can start to form and so that's what we have to watch as we head into next week with this area that is currently sitting in the western Caribbean. So we're going to continue to watch that. We'll watch Larry and we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.